Lord God bless you. The drop number of the living water, this is 82 and today is March 23rd. You remember that we learn a lot about teaching with parables. All the time, the Bible says that he used a parable to teaching and without a parable, he never taught anything. So, we took eight days uh, consistently to learn about source parable. Story, explanation. Story and the explanation. So, we know that that is his way. And also, at, at night time maybe, the, he explained everything to disciples, to followers. One more thing, all the time the Bible says that with Christ Jesus, there were multitude followed him. Oh, there were so many people around him. Lot of gathering around him. Remember the, the paralyzed patient uh, wanted to come, drop to him, but there was no room. Uh, so that they removed the uh, roof and the patient was dropped like that because that type of crowd, no room. So what about, what are they, who are these multitude? They are, let me give you one word, is they are believers. What about the new people? Yes, first time, yes, they, they don't know anything about Christ Jesus. They just go, let me see. They see him, they hear what he says and they see what he was doing. Then the belief, the trust builds up in their hearts. Yes, he is so different. Not like Pharisees, not like the other priest in our synagogue. He is different. Yes, he must be the Christ. So they understood that. So also he's, um, the, the people saw that, okay, uh, he forgive their sins. And the people, paralyzed people, they got up and then they started to walk. Wow, this is not a, just a man. This is, this is God. So they learned those things with their eyewitness. So they became believers. That's why day by day, day and night, every single day, all this multitude followed him. If they didn't believe, they had a lot of work. Why they left everything and followed him? Because they believed him. So for these people, Christ Jesus used to talk with parables. There's a very beautiful uh, place here in the Bible. I would like to take you one more step forward. Let's go to book of Matthew, chapter 13, verse 10. It says, And the disciples came and said to him, Why do you speak to them in parables? There are two groups here. One is disciple. They come here. The disciples came to him. Disciples came to him and asked this question. What, what are they asking? Why do you speak to them in parables? Them. Who are them? Believers. The great multitude who follow him. Right. Now we understood clearly here. He used parables to teach all the believers. But at night time, they whenever... These people go and ask the explanation and Jesus, ex, Jesus Christ explained. That's how we learn so was parable. And when, when these disciples ask this question, why? Look at the answer. How Christ Jesus answered this question. Verse 11. He says, and he answered and said to them, to you it has been granted to know mysteries of kingdom of heaven. But to them, it has not been granted. Wow. The divine secrets, divine truths are revealed only to followers, disciples. For believers, just the story. Can't you imagine the, how, how serious is, this is? I think that we have to stop here and think where we are. Am I a follower or am I just a believer? If we we'll need to know divine truths, divine secrets, my dear friend, we need to change. We need to transform into 
disciples, followers. Remember, the story is for believers, but the explanation is for disciples or, or followers. Now, what if not? What if not? What if we don't get the real meaning? Then, the, for the believers, this is just a storybook. This is just the story. They understand the story. They hear the story. But they don't know the hidden depth, the deep meaning of that story. So then what? They just listen to the story. Okay, good night, Lord. And they go home. And then they imagine, oh, maybe this is what they, what, what he said. Oh, no, 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 no. You know what? I have an idea. Maybe this. Hmm. What about this? Hmm. Now they have different, different thoughts. They interpret Remember this, they interpret with their own understanding, with their own head knowledge, different ways, their own ways. That is the, that is the disaster today. People have so many different interpretation. Why? They don't get the real meaning. The divine secrets are hidden to them. So that's why they interpret their own way. But that is not the right way. Let me tell you, now we have to think of what if they don't understand. This is what happens. They interpret their own way and that is not the right way. So then they make their own path. You know what? This is what it means. The other person say, no, no, no. This is not. This is what. Ah. Then now his followers who follow him, this meaning. And the other person say, no, 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 no. This is not the one. Let me tell you. Okay. Wow. It looks like more real. Okay. Let me follow you. Hmm. That this is how all these denominations and separations in, in Christ Jesus in these teachings. Why? If it is one truth, why the different, different beliefs? Because of this. They didn't get the real understanding. They don't have the re revelation of Christ Jesus. Revelation, divine revelation. That was the missing part. So then they interpret, misinterpret. And they are going on their own path. Remember, Christ Jesus said that I am the way, the truth and the life. But they are going on their own ways. If someone is not on his way, he is the way. If someone is not on his way, they are on their own way. Right after what happens, the Holy Spirit departs from them. We need to understand this. Where there is no Holy Spirit, unclean spirits enter into them not like not with devil's face but they are disguised as angels but evil spirits remember when Saul the king he disobeyed the Lord right right away the Holy Spirit departed from him and his kingship he lost it did he understand no he didn't know that so this is what happens today. Where there is no Holy Spirit, evil spirits come in and change everything. They use the Bible. They read the Bible. They preach with this. They teach with the words. But with their own interpretation. Poor them and the followers who follow them, bunch of them, they are misled. They are misled and generational wise at the end, that is how the heaven, not the heaven, the hell will be filled. This is a disaster. So my brother, my sister, this is an urgent need. I emphasize on this today. Be a follower but not a believer. If you are still uh, willing to do that, I encourage you again. I remind you this invitation again. Comment underneath and join us. To learn furthermore and be a disciple. Be a disciple. That is my, uh, that is my lovely invitation. And this is his last commandment. Make disciples out of all nations. Remember, no believer can make a disciple. Believers make believers. Followers make followers. If you want to make followers, we have to be followers first. We have to change our lives first. So be ready. Tomorrow we'll talk about one, this type of uh, 
wrong interpretation, giving you an example. Be ready. See you tomorrow. May the Lord God bless you.